Minecraft Live 2022 has announced the Minecraft 1.20 update. It also featured a mob vote and so much more. Here's everything about the next Minecraft update. So throughout this video, I'll show you everything we know about Minecraft 1.20, including all the information Mojang gave us about their upcoming games and the result of the mob vote. Mojang gave us more info on Minecraft Legends, including the fact that they want it to have a feel sort of like the vanilla game, but with a twist. Also to tell a story, there will be legendary items with mob controlling abilities. The storyline is basically the Minecraft nether and overworld fighting each other, and there'll be a lot of new mobs and biomes that really look like they could give us hints for future Minecraft updates. From everything we've seen so far, the game looks amazing with characters like action, knowledge, and foresight to sort of show the abilities you need to play Minecraft Legends. This really does look like it's going to be a beautiful and amazing addition to the Minecraft catalog of games. They even had some interesting in-game previews of Minecraft Minecraft Legends, and overall the game also seems to have a lot of interesting and unique mechanics in it, with a really big focus on mobs. Just like in the vanilla game, the overworld in this Minecraft Legends video game will be randomly generated so that everyone's experience is different, and with special types of allays that have different abilities, this really does show us that not only will this game feature a lot of things from base Minecraft, but as well as that it would definitely be awesome to have some allays that actually can break blocks, place blocks, and maybe have more interactive abilities inside of vanilla. Mojang even directly mentioned that they want to do things differently, hinting towards the community's negative reaction to 1.19 not having the birch forest and fireflies, also the chat reporting system. Even though Minecraft Legends is being added, Minecraft Dungeons still is going to be having new DLC and support by Mojang, with them releasing Seasonal Adventure 3 that'll have new pets, animals, and courses. Minecraft Dungeons is also going to have added a new tower multi multiplayer mode, and these things will be released on October 19th. Mojang will be adding seven new default skins to Minecraft in addition to Alex and Steve, so now there will be nine mascots for Minecraft, not just two, and there'll be an update trailers and merch and other things with Minecraft. There'll be a new Minecraft block hanging signs, where you can have a stripped log with chains to show signs from the side and bottom of a block, with amazing patterns of V-shaped if it's attached to a small block like a fence, on the side of a block sort of looking like a bell, and the signs will be added to have more story building opportunities in Minecraft, but they did reveal that they'll be more expensive to craft than standard signs. Bamboo will now be made into a wood type with patterns and designs for each of the variants. They have extremely beautiful textures and will make bamboo a much better block than it is in Minecraft currently. That'll then be Minecraft's 10th wood type. Also this bamboo wood set will have a special block which is the bamboo mosaic and it'll have variants as well. It sort of looks like woven bamboo and they said it'll be perfect for making floors. Mojang says they want to add these to Minecraft because in real life a lot of people build things out of bamboo and also the bamboo wood type spout will be a tropical looking raft which works the same but also has an amazing texture. The chiseled bookshelf is going to be a new block in Minecraft that can be a storage for books and bookshelves. Also, as a way of adding storytelling to Minecraft, books can be added and removed from these bookshelves. This item is really amazing and will add new great functionality to the game with comparator redstone functionality. They even have an amazing way that you can use the texture of the bookshelves for floors as well as walls. They really want the community to have new combinations with these blocks. Camels are being added to Minecraft as a sort of desert type update. This actually was leaked by Roger Badgerman a day before Minecraft Live. The camels will be the first two-person rideable mob that can jump super far, live well in any biome, and be a beautiful addition to the game. They're going to be incredibly large mobs and also be added to have more realistic biomes from around the world. The camel will not be as fast as the horse, but will go fairly fast if they are in a flat area, and will have a new ability, called the dash, where they lunge over small rivers or ravines. Storytelling is going to be a lot of the reason behind the camel having these abilities. It'll also have the ability to sprint and go faster, but still being fairly slow. The camels are actually incredibly overpowered though because you are fully safe from hostile mobs that aren't ranged if you're on a camel because they can't hit you as the camel will be so tall. Also if you want baby camels they can be bred with cactus and they have an interesting sitting pattern with very cute babies. And I'm honestly just loving the look of this camel's texture just as they said in the video themselves. They sort of have a funny looking expression on their face but really you can see the texture work is great with them even having the hump on their back as real camels do. And the arched look 
looking neck. I would say you can really see this sort of new art style going across Minecraft, which I quite like, with even the new high quality bookshelves. After all, the look of those new books do not look the exact same as the old bookshelves, in fact quite different, which is definitely a good thing, as then you can tell the difference between the old standard bookshelves in Minecraft and the new ones. Also in terms of the hanging signs, the building functionality we see here I think is amazing. I've always wanted an item like this in Minecraft, and I've actually seen people do something similar, where they'll take a trapdoor, they'll put a sign on the trapdoor, and then sort of make it look like it's hanging, and potentially, if we're lucky, these hanging signs can even sort of be modified to look like they're holding on to maybe a flower pot or something else that could add even more building opportunities. As they showed themselves, this one simple item that's being added to Minecraft will actually greatly increase the amount of building opportunities people will have with hanging items. After all, when chains were added to Minecraft, that did provide a lot more opportunity, and with this new hanging sign block and every single wood variant, even the new bamboo wood variant, we're just going to see so much able to be done with a lot of lore and storytelling. For instance, the bamboo wood I think really helps add the somewhat missing tropical vibe to Minecraft. After all, there still isn't a strictly tropical island biome. Perhaps this bamboo is a sign that we will eventually have that inside of the game, where maybe there'll be some deserted or abandoned islands. And of course, with the camels being added, I almost guarantee that we'll have more features added to the desert in the future. After all, it doesn't make a lot of sense they would just add one new thing to the desert. I think it's very possible to have new cactuses. Also, if we look back at the previous biome votes, we can tell that three of them focused with desert-like things. Across the desert mesa and savanna biome update videos, we saw vultures and a new type of cactus in the mesa biome, along with tumbleweeds. This could definitely be added in 1.20. We also had in the desert meerkats, not camels, and as well as that, a palm tree. These could also very well be added in 1.20 as it gets further developed over time. And finally, for the savanna biome with ostriches as well as the baobab trees and termites, these are also some very unique features that seem to blend in very well with the existing features we know are going to be in 1.20. So I definitely keep your eye out for potentially a desert or warm biome themed update. Potentially, even this looks like somewhat of another 1.12 creativity update as the big focus here as sort of representation and letting people have more opportunities for building. Now if you think this isn't very many features for Minecraft 1.20, more will be announced throughout the Minecraft Now monthly live streams, as this development process will be more spread out over time, with less announced all at first, so that they do not have a scenario like the Birch Forest. But what's incredibly exciting is the fact that these features will be able to be play tested in only a few days, so update 1.20 will be fully playable in less than a week. That's right, including this new bamboo wood type, the signs, the bookshelves, the camels, and so much more. You can try all these things out when Mojang releases these beta tests, snapshots, and preview features in only a couple days. And now for the final thing, the sniffer won the Minecraft mob vote. Now the Minecraft mob vote of course this year had many more participants. They said over 3 million, which is much more than it was in any other mob vote. So the sniffer won the mob vote, and the sniffer won by a massive mark margin as well, so hopefully most of the community can agree that this will be a great mob to add into the game. And with the camel being added, I think it's very, very likely that we will be seeing a desert-themed update in the future. With the sniffer being added as well, of course, we'll have the new sniffer eggs, new decorative plants, and overall, if you're a builder, Minecraft 1.20 is the update for you. The question is, when will this update release? Well, I think that 1.20 will release fairly soon, and the reason why is the fact that Mojang did say it'll release in 2023, which is only a little bit over two months away, and I'm thinking somewhat early 2023, as not many features have actually been announced, it's quite likely that we'll get a couple more features added over time, but potentially Mojang's looking at doing a smaller update for 1.20, to maybe prepare for a massive 1.21 update, or to even start having more frequent, but less feature-packed updates. Still, I can tell 100% all these features that are being added are incredibly high quality, and again of course what we know so far about 1.20, is we'll have these hanging signs, we'll have bamboo that'll be a new wood type, we'll have the chiseled bookshelf that'll have tons of functionality with books, as well as with enchanted books, or books that you write in a book and quill, there'll be camels that are probably going to be the most overpowered rideable mob. It's actually funny because in the Minecraft Live they talked about what they can do to make sure that the camels are not obsolete compared to horses, but I think the opposite problem may be true, as camels will be so powerful against mobs that are like zombies or husks, 
that don't have a lot of range to them. Horses may eventually become obsolete, but either way we'll see what happens, and of course all of us will be able to see much more about this update when the beta tests release in just a couple days. I hope you enjoyed this video about Minecraft 1.20. If you did, make sure to subscribe, as I'll be covering this update a lot over the next couple of days. See you in the next one, and here's to looking forward to Minecraft's future.